some of y'all today. Oh, it is a wonderful day today. Uh, John and I are out on a ride. We are heading towards uh, uh, New Philadelphia, Ohio. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going into Dover or Sugar Creek or anything like that yet. Uh, we're sort of uh, on just a random, uh, just go take a ride ride. But I do know this road goes to uh, New Philadelphia, Ohio. Uh, and uh, so I suppose we'll probably go into there. Uh, ahead I see what looks to be a uh, storm, maybe rain clouds, kind of overcast looking, uh, not real, uh, not real serious, but, uh, you know, uh, like that, looks like one of those days that it can just drizzle and drizzle and drizzle all day long. Now back in Newcomerstown there was no sign of that, but as we get closer and closer to Philly, uh, it's getting darker and darker and looking more and more like a good turn in the foul weather. That's okay, we know which way to go to, to get out of it, and we got bikes that'll get out of it fast. So uh, I think we'll be okay, we'll be all right. And you never know, you know, maybe something we can just wait it out and whatnot. Yeah, it's not really warm enough to enjoy riding in the rain. And uh, if you're flying like we are here, oh boy, uh, then, um, you know, uh, uh, rain stings at these speeds. So we'd have to slow down. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to go clowning around. Uh, John's talking about maybe going to watch some tap dancing uh, uh, tryouts, uh, I guess, over at the, at the, uh, uh, over the performing arts center. I'm not too into that. I'd rather go like to the uh, motorbike rodeo or something. But John, he really likes tap tap dancing and clogging and things like that. I've had a few clogging uh, lessons myself. I've done a little tap dancing, uh, but mainly just to try to be John. That's, that's all he wants to. Know. That's all he thinks about. You know, it's just this funny little dance he thinks about. Okay, I'm totally bullshit. Yeah, of course you guys know John. You know he's not in that much of any kind of art, <laughs> but uh, especially not tap dancing and clogging. Of course, he'll look at those pretty girls from Ireland and clog. I've seen him look at that town. I don't blame him. He's take a good look at them, and that's something I'll look at right there. By the way. Okay, so now we are. Um, we are coming upon a little area that is known as Broken Spokes. Um, and I don't know if this story is true or not. It, it definitely could be true because it's not, uh, you know, that off kilter compared to the other stories that I do know are true about towns around here. But what I've been told is uh, right up here at this intersection roughly around where, you know, where this church is, area here. Someone was out here with a wagon, you know, the old covered wagons, and uh, uh, I guess that uh, you know, the wagon wheel broke and, and they just said that's it. This is where we were meant to stay. The good Lord is, uh, is telling us to stay here. And so that's where they stayed, and this turned into a nice little town here. You can see, uh, uh, and it smells good. Uh, wood over there burning, I don't know what that is. But, mm, it smells good. But anyways, uh, yeah, they, 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 I guess, just started living here. And, and uh, so they named it after the event that happened. That, uh, started the first person to live in, in this area. And that was, uh, you know, the, the, the spokes broke on the wagon, so they call it broken spokes. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but like I say, it's not out of line with other stories uh, around the area, you know, how they got named and all that stuff. Um, these towns and stuff. You know. A lot of just little things like that uh, have sprung up, you know. As Robert Plant might tell you, you know, uh, every. Every fire grows from a spark, you know, and that's kind of, that was the spark for a broken spokes, apparently. So anyway, uh, that's, that's a little story about broken spokes, Ohio.
for you. And uh, I don't know if anyone knows better than that uh, or can, uh, you know, tell the story a little better. Uh, you're definitely welcome to do so. Uh, I would like to know myself. I like these little freaking stories of these little towns and stuff and all that stuff. It's pretty neat. You know, these, this old history many times forgotten. Let's try to remember what he said. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the place. Bye-bye.